we do with this particular day is ensuring that we are looking at some of that forward uh, looking technologies, uh, whether we are looking at sensors, uh, we want to play with the uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, or we are looking at the ways that we can collect data more effectively. Uh, all this, it's going to support humanitarian organizations uh, to be more effective uh, in their work in the field. Services will be your main competitive advantage. Profit and care can live together, and that's exactly what we should do. We need to work together to make you know, society better and to help in those very difficult situations. It's for us an occasion to brainstorm with other uh, cluster members and, and also with the private sector to see what the new technologies uh, are that are coming up and how we could potentially include these in our solution. So it's very interesting for us. Uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, people asking about how 3D printing can help organizations uh, on the ground. I think that this kind of uh, techniques in a humanitarian uh, project is very helpful because you can create almost anything from nothing, in fact. You just need a 3D printer and a, a spool of uh, plastic filament and you can create any kind of object. It takes only five minutes to print this kind of things. Uh, Another object like this one, little screw there, you, you can print that in uh, 20 minutes. Very exciting. A lot of uh, creativity going on in the um, humanitarian uh, IT uh, sector, the digital solutions for emergencies. Um, maybe a decade ago we didn't have uh, so many uh, applications. Uh, we uh, were talking mostly about connectivity. Now I see a lot of uh, progress on the information exchange, data provisioning, um, mobile apps supporting emergencies. It's very cool. Uh, right, left, mm -hmm. spin right, spin left. You can take pictures, start video. Okay. You and want to try? We could add sensor to calculate the humidity, radioactivity, temperature on the field. Which channel is that? This channel. Well, it's on a channel 703 megahertz. TV white space lends itself so well to covering large areas with very low power. It takes two guys about two hours to set up a mast that can cover an area of around 300 square kilometers and they're self-contained and solar powered so you can rapidly deploy a totally independent network. It works by utilizing species in the television band that aren't used by the broadcasters. Having this collaboration and discussion, I would say, even between the private sectors and the public sectors who are also present today and the humanitarian world. Uh, and that was the whole point. It's like working on collaboration, working on federation. You can work offline and store the data already. And whenever you go online with uh, this kind of antenna, like inflatable gator or any 2.4 meter C-band antenna, you can share the data with uh, any HQ or someone behind the internet. And this is really the monitoring of the box. We need to have the boxes attached to things that make sense. So that's what I look for today, is to how we can integrate the various technologies into a usable product. I think the lesson from us is around sort of the simplicity that's necessary for the interaction of the technologies when you're doing it under pressure and in a response in the middle of difficult conditions. Um, I think that's definitely always a good lesson for people who are designing technology around the simplicity and keep it simple to interact with. These kind of sensors can be extended by measuring gas concentration, but also temperature, humidity, some agriculture, also measurement like checking the ground. And um, we can also measure the quality of the water. You can see here a solar panel, but also there is batteries inside. And some sensors which can be connected to it. This one has, for example, an internal radiology uh, giga counter, which permit to manage in case of nuclear incidents. Innovation is really a way in which you are able to capitalize on that technology and, and do things with it first and foremost that will help those people that are in need. Mm -hmm.